In this video, I'll cover framing join options for laps and miters. In this sample deck, the automatic framing has been created. Let's begin with changing the bottom joint from a lap to a miter. When I select the rim joist, there are tools for both miter and lap. As I select the miter tool to manually adjust the automatic framing, the program will prompt if you want to turn it off. Once I turn it off, I can click on the opposing frame member and create the miter. Let's look at the process to create a lap. I'll select the left rim joist, use the lap tool, click on the upper rim joist, and you can see that the lap has been created. You can also reverse the process, click on the upper rim joist, use the lap tool, click on the bottom rim joist, and you can see that the lap has changed direction. Process also works in a 3D view. If I click on the side rim joist, use the miter command, click on the upper rim joist, you can see that it has created the miter. To create a miter for all of the angled joists, let's come over into the floor plan view. I'm going to select the outer rim joist. I'm going to use a tool called Extend. You'll see this in the lower edit menu. Click on the Extend tool. I'm going to click and drag through all of the joists that I want to extend. And you can see that the miter has been created to form right up against the outer joist. Well, that wraps up this video on framing joint options for laps and miters. To learn more, please see our other videos and our built-in help file. Thanks for watching.